Unstoppable for the mid laner from Echo Fox. The turrets are going down. The Nexus is going down. And Echo Fox are going to play off. People have no fat. There's like no blubber. <laughs> There's no insulation here. You're just bone. I, I'm just bone. You're literally like just meat. bone. I'm just like substance. Yeah. That's pretty sad. It's the Aussie way, dude. I, by the way, I'm a New Zealander. Hey guys, it's where? Uh, it is week nine, and we. Oh, to you. It's week nine. Why do I have to say it to you if I'm telling it's, it's week nine? And we are playing against. Oh, who did we play against? Team oh, we're against 100 Thieves, and we're not against that team. So we're here, it's week nine of the LCS. We're going up against Team Liquid on Saturday, followed by Clutch Gaming on Sunday. If we manage to pull out one win today, or tomorrow, then we'll be clinched for playoffs. But if we 0-2, there's a small chance that we're going to be either in tiebreakers or out of playoffs. But if we won one, we're guaranteed making playoffs. The final week of the regular season for the North American LCS, but it's Team Liquid versus Echo Fox here on stage. Echo Fox still actually fighting for a position in the postseason. As good as their spot may be, they still have some games to win. So everybody was actually really confident going into this game against Team Liquid. Our practice had gone pretty well this week. We had a lot of ideas of what we wanted to do in draft, and we had different scenarios panned out. So versus Team Liquid, we actually lost our bot tower 2v2. I think a Smoothie and Lost are now stuck in their jungle and away from their turret. A lot of XP being sacrificed, a lot of health going down, and double up and Olay. Not. This is more stuff that Lost is not getting. Our tower was going, you know, just doing at a normal pace. We're just a 50-50 lane, just farming evenly. But then we forgot or didn't manage to call help for our turret early enough. And we just basically gave them first tower for free in a lane that should have been 50-50, defendable until like, say 15-ish minutes. And that was, you know, that gave them a huge loop for no reason. It's gone, 4v4. Can they get the rest? This one is another kill falls. And Liquid are starting to clean up the fight. Dardox next to fall and Demonte has to run away. But they're on to the Nexus. Liquid gonna secure the first place seed in the playoffs as they knock down the kill and they knock down the Nexus. Currently, we're on a three-game loss streak. That's probably the longest we've gone this entire split. It's really rough for the guys. Everybody's kind of, you know, they were really confident going to this game and we knew we needed one win to get into playoffs. You know, we don't want to have to rely on other teams winning or losing just to make it so we qualify for playoffs. Nobody wants that. We want to be able to know that we got ourselves there, right? We deserve to be in playoffs. Well, as a result of game one today, Echo Fox now needs to win this game to keep control of their own postseason destiny. A loss here means they are at the mercy of teams that still have games to play. There's though on the blue side, it's Clutch Gaming. And selecting the red side today is going to be Echo Fox. Going into this CG game, it's a really important game for us. It guarantees us that we get into playoffs, and that's obviously a really big thing for us. Yeah, standard early game. Kindred went for a mark he shouldn't have went for because we had double soul lane prio. He gets punished and killed. Um, after that, I punish, take his our counter jungle, take one camp, a rally overextends, we kill him for free. Game is literally over, and we, me and Hooney get greedy and try and push a wave, dive both for free, and then the game was easy. Remember, no flash available on the Echo Fox top laner who's already gonna be dropped. Dardock having to walk himself away now, take it very low, take it very down. Solo grabbing himself the kill there. And I don't think they played especially well. Um, we ended up just snowballing really well, and we got Baron. And once we got Baron versus their team comp, we can just group up as five people, and they can't really fight us at all. Like, uh, my champ's just always gonna be really strong, probably five, so. Once we got, got the Baron, the game was pretty much over. The jungler being down means Echo Fox get an easy Baron on the back of that, and Clutch getting way overconfident. And Echo Fox find their delayed ace. Yeah. Unstoppable for the mid laner from Echo Fox. The turrets are going down, the Nexus is going down, and Echo Fox are going to play off. It's obviously a huge relief to win versus Clutch. It's expected for us to beat them, and it clinches our playoff spot. Yeah, pretty much overall for the summer split, I think I'm not really satisfied, satisfied for this season because, you know, it's like nine, well, like 10 and 8, which is like, for me, it's like really not great. I would say it was kind of like worst regular season for me in LCS. I heard you got your new set of wheels, Orange Range Rover, drove it into the studio today. Where are you taking it first and can I come with you? I will think about it. <laughs> I'll think about it. The fact that we do have a lot of tiebreakers tomorrow means that we're not, we're not done yet. We still need to go home, prepare for tomorrow. We're still in the thick of things right now, so we're just staying focused on the games. Obviously, we'd prefer to be third place over sixth place, but no matter what happens, all that really is going to matter is how we perform.
Echo Fox owns the head-to-head -head in this matchup. TSM have won a lot in a row, and of course Echo Fox have lost a lot in a row, but we are here, ready to go. To get us into tiebreaker action. Uh, TSM's game against us was pretty easy overall. I think we had almost our ideal draft, again, for how our team wants to play. We got a lot of advantages on ourselves, and we ended up throwing once after Baron. I don't think TSM played especially well that series. It looks like Echo Fox want to get themselves the top spot. All of them on the table in front of these Knuckle Fox. Second and third place teams from the spring split. Now do we battle for third and fourth in the regular season? Our game against 100 Thieves, uh, it was pretty sad. I thought the game was really under our control for the most part. People ended up getting frustrated in game because we weren't playing optimally. But the game should have been really easily won. We just played really badly around our Akali. 100 Thieves are going to finish this with no Echo Fox member alive. Third place in the regular season secured for 100 Thieves. Echo Fox will drop and they'll face TSM. Playing in playoffs is always crunch time. If we lose, then it's not the end of the world because we have Gauntlet to go to. I'd rather not go to Gauntlet if possible. I really feel like this team has a little too much potential to not make Oakland. So I really want us to win and I'll try my best to help everyone get there. I mean, the whole year is always just gonna be summed up by how well we do in playoffs and Worlds. So for now, I'm happy because we made it to playoffs, which is the, imme the immediate goal. But if we don't make it to Worlds and you ask me after, probably I'd say that this season was a shit fest and it didn't mean anything. So this week we're going into quarterfinals against TSM. It's always a, a struggle wrestling TSM in playoffs. I've been there, done that like too many times on Cloud9 now, and they're always a big threat. We're going in pretty confident against TSM. Uh, I think that our team definitely has potential to beat every team here, like for sure. We can definitely take the win. So this week, unfortunately, Huni got a little sick. I'm still pretty hopeful for uh, our game on Saturday, and hopefully Huni gets better before we play. Eventually, I think we have a really positive future. We just need to keep putting in the effort and hopefully everyone stays motivated. Thanks for watching. Make sure to follow Echo Fox on all your social media.